Game of Thrones, 5 possible spin-offs and 5 that will never happen. After a mostly acclaimed 8-season run, HBO's hit fantasy series has finally come to an end. Whatever opinions, fortunately for HBO, the prolific writings of author George Wright Reverend. Martin provide enough, click the button below to start this article and quick view. Of all the Game of Thrones spin-offs rumored to be in the works, Blood Moon working title is probably the most likely to come to fruition. In fact, add to that a number of, and it's hard to see Blood Moon not becoming a pilot, at the very least. Previously Nick, Arya Stark survived the famously dangerous Game of Thrones Sonda became the hero of Winterfell after slaying the Night King and the finale, Arya is sought to answer a question she's asked for a long time what's west of West Eros? Unfortunately, while the title certainly writes itself, Arya Stark's on-screen journey seems to have come to a close in the series finale of Game of Thrones, as HBO recently confirmed that Arya Stark won't be getting a spin-off. HBO Pro Aegon's conquest occurred roughly 300 years before the events of Game of Thrones Sond has been referenced several times throughout the show's run. In Season 2, much of the present day's political structure, both physically and figuratively, were formed during Aegon I Targaryen's mostly successful campaign to rule the Seven Kingdoms. There is also a odd, it's not hard to piece together a rough outline of what happened during Robert's Rebellion using information revealed in Game of Thrones. Basically, within this overarching story, several formative events transpired that would shape the trajectory of politics in West Eros for the course of Game of Thrones and beyond, including the abduction of Lyanna Stark by Rhaegar Targaryen, Jaime Lannister killing King Aerys, and the birth of Jon Snow. Unfortunately, everyone knows about the Wall, the massive ice structure defended by the Night's Watch that protects the Seven Kingdoms from threats in the North. But how did the wall? It's made clear in Game of Thrones that the children area no tap friends say of the White Walkers, but there's plenty of intrigue around how that conflict involved Bran the Builder and Giants. Better yet, the Hot Pie's pure hearted culinary pursuits exist solely outside the realm of political conflict and bloody wars, leaving open a golden opportunity for a light hearted comedy story set within the unforgiving world of West Eros during the Great War. As charming as it might be to see Hot Pie perfecting his animal-shaped bread and pie-making skills, George Wright Reverend. Martin singled out, we've seen the horrifying effects of coming into contact with the stone men of old Valeria, most prominently in the case of Sir Jorah Mormont, who barely escaped his wretched fate with the help of Samuel Charlie. However, this Valeria was once an overwhelmingly powerful capital and stronghold of one of West Eros history's most powerful empires, and its fall after the catastrophic volcanic event known as the Doom seems plenty of material for at least a mini-series. You'll remember the Brotherhood Without Banners as most prominently appearing in earlier seasons, led by Eric Dondarrion and Thuras of Mir. What isn't, so, we see both Thuras and Eric's fates play out in Season 8 but there are still a lot of unanswered questions about the Brotherhood without banners that would surely make for a good story to play out on TV. Unfortunately, plenty of fans were upset about, and for good reason. After seven seasons, the Night King doesn't exist in the novels in the same way as the show, but that could leave a lot of creative liberty for the potential showrunners to invent a captivating origin story for Game of Thrones' most terror-inducing villain. Dunk Egg is a popular series of novellas based in the A Song of Ice and Fire novels that follows Aegon V Targaryen in his youth while he squired for the Hedge Knight, Sir Duncan the Tall. As thrilling as the Duke, perhaps learning from his experience with Game of Thrones surpassing his own story in A Song of Ice and Fire, Martin had this to say about a spin-off series were. Subscribe for the hottest movie, TV, and gaming news. I agree to let Screen Rant send me emails.